This is thyroid, the gland located right here. I actually, if you look closely, there is a scar. I don't have a thyroid, I had a thyroid cancer, and they took it out. Thyroid has two lobes, and it produces hormones, produces thyroxine, T3 and T4. And it looks like this, it looks from far away. You don't see it yet, but from closer up, it looks like a lot of bubblegum bubbles, or a lot of just pink soap bubbles. So let's have a look. one of those bubbles. A little smaller and this bubble has two parts this has the skish part all over this is called colloid all this pink stuff is colloid and then this colloid is enclosed by these cells just just one layer of cells and they are all next to each other these epithelial cells making closing the colloid. These are called follicular cells. And this whole structure multiplied by a lot of times, look how many of them are there. All these guys, these are follicles. Follicles that have colloid inside and the, and the single layer epithelium surrounding them. And that's basically it. There is one more type of cells, so-called parafollicular cells. I don't know if we will be able to find them Actually, because they are not that visible in H and E in hematoxylin and eosin. And I would hate to be guessing. I suspect these could be the guys. So they're parafollicular. Actually, but probably. So they are next to the follicles. So they do not have any contact with the follicular lumen. No contact. And they produce calcitonin. Other things that we're going to have in between the follicles are going to be, of course, blood vessels. This is one. This is another one. Everything where you see red blood cells, these are blood vessels. And we're going to have connective tissue. So all this pinkish thing, collagen, is connective tissue. By the way, if this is useful, be sure to subscribe and like this video and share it with somebody who might use it as well. Here we have some larger vessels, a lot of blood, it's okay. You can appreciate that the size of those follicles is very different. We have the huge ones, like this one here, and we have very small ones, like this one. That is totally fine. That is all within the variability of the organ. That is it. This is the thyroid. Very important gland in the body. And if you need some more in-depth histology info, a lot of depth, uh, this is the book. And using histology uh, at text and atlas by Wojciech Pavlina. And I'm going to leave the link in the description below. And before we finish, we need to say thank you to the presenter. Because this is where we were looking at this very beautiful digital slide. I'll talk to you in the next video.